Hi, I'm Alistair, and if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I've been building an escape room control system based on some free software called Node Red. And in this video, I just wanted to give an update as to sort of where it's at now. It's still very much in development, but it's got plenty of features that you can already use yourself. So up to now, I've mostly been concentrating on demonstrating how you can network different prop controllers together. So let's say you've got a puzzle in your escape room powered by a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino or an ESP chip, and each of those is individual monitoring the inputs that players make and checking whether they've got the right solution and making messages from all those devices get sent to a central server that can be monitored by a games master who can uh, monitor the state of players' progress through the rooms. Now, one thing I haven't looked at so far yet, though, very much, is the feedback, the display that can be provided to the players themselves. So that's what I kind of wanted to concentrate on here. So up in the corner of the screen there, you can see a fairly typical room display that you might expect to see in an escape room game. I've got a looping video in the background and I've got a timer display in the foreground just showing how many uh, seconds and minutes are remaining for the players in the room. And the other screen you can see, well, this is the Games Master dashboard that I've got running. So uh, it's got the status of all the different puzzles and to show sort of inputs, to show what's been solved already. I've demonstrated that in the past. But some things I haven't shown, which I just wanted to, to show you now. So first of all, I've got a clue delivery thing, uh, like a text input field here, which I can just enter any value into. So uh, let's say I want to write this is a clue, for example. When I send that, uh, the players in the room will get the message appear on their screen and it will appear for a configurable amount of time, currently it's set to 10 seconds. They get a little audio alert as well and then it disappears again. Uh, if I needed to send that again because they didn't notice the first time, uh, let's say this is another clue. And sure enough, so that's pretty easy to use. It's fairly standard. You could also have, if you wanted, a list of uh, predefined clues. These have got uh, a setup drop down here. For this example, I was sending them to a, a thermal printer though, rather than to appear on a video display. So there's different ways you can deliver to different clue delivery mechanisms in the room. Um, on the subject of music as well, because that's something else I haven't looked through. So I've got a little alert tone there where you um, have something appear on the screen, but perhaps you want to have some incidental sound effects appear at certain times. So if you wanted a floorboard creak, um, I can play that sound effect. Uh, or a door creak, for example, something like that. And they could be triggered by the Games Master manually, as I'm doing here or perhaps they could uh, be triggered when a certain amount of time remains in the room. That's all easy to use and set up. The software will do that all already. Um, and I've also got some uh, background music as well. So this is hugely important, I think, in setting the atmosphere in escape room games. So I can uh, just play some background here and it will come out of uh, whatever speakers are uh, connected to the dashboard console here or you can stream it to a device in the room itself. So if you wanted to have some kind of spatial audio coming from a particular area, um, you could trigger that sound to come from a position in the room rather than just ambient sound. And obviously you can get this to automatically start when the, when the game starts, uh, or you can manually start it, you can manually stop it as well. So I've got audio, clue delivery, I've got a timer system running down, and I've got monitoring of uh, props there as well. I'm going to keep on adding new features to it, but um, you can start using all this now. Like I say, it's based on something called Node Red, which was originally developed by IBM. Uh, it's free, it's very robust, it's very powerful. It will run on a uh, Windows PC or Linux or Raspberry Pi. Um, and I've put all the sort of, I'm calling them recipes, so kind of examples of different snippets of code that you might want to incorporate uh, in your room. I'm putting them up on my GitHub page, which I'll put a, a link at the bottom of the screen. So give it a try. Let me know if there's features you'd like to see. And um, yeah, have fun using it. 